All right, this is fitting the pack saddle. To start, we want the saddle in the right place. A good rule of thumb is if you line up this front D with the back of the front leg, that's going to be a pretty good uh, rule of thumb as far as where your saddle needs to be. <clears throat> so from there, we're going to go to the back. This back pad is going to be a hand's width to the rear from the top of the hip, about a hand's width. And these back straps here will give you that adjustment. Next, we're going to go to our britchin. This is our britchin here. We want this about two hands width below the point of the rump. Point of the rump being right in here, two hands width below. And that's with uh, these drop straps right here. We also want a slight upward angle on this britchin. If we have it perfectly flat, it doesn't match the slope of that hind leg. So we want it slightly angled upward in the front. So we want this strap a little tighter. And that's going to match the slope of this hind leg. Okay, we also want about a hands width of slack in there. All right, and that's going to be adjusted by your flank and quarter straps. You also want equal tension on these two. So with your hands in there and you're checking for slack, make sure you have pretty equal tension on these two straps. The only thing left is your breast collar, and we want about a hands width the slack in your breast collar as well. And if all that's good, um, keep in mind that mules change throughout the season and uh, we might have to adjust and loosen things or tighten things as they change shape. So just keep an eye on the mules. Shouldn't be wearing holes in them. How about the cinch in the point of the elbow? Okay, and cinch should be, you know, hands width from behind the elbow here. Elbow, hands width, pretty good rule of thumb there. <clears throat> 